Until recently, industrial agriculture produced food and textiles. But the advent of plant-based fuels has created a massive new market, increasing the production and power of large agribusinesses accordingly. Desde 1994, the desmatamento started to plant plantio de soja. Crops have been replaced by um, crops for fuel. A gente viu que é uma coisa muito ruim para nossos alimentos, para nossos meio ambientes, né, para nossos rios também. Monocultures, vast expanses of land planted with a single crop variety, destroy everything in their path. Roman Sand in Paraguay, Senor Casada, murió. Y otro está muriendo por la culpa de veneno también. The agrochemical companies continue to patent all of the plants and bacteria that they view as their proprietary creations. You gotta buy the seed now from the market. You gotta buy the seed from the corporations. They're making money on this modified organism now. Tá Monsanto, né, o grande monstro, né, que se divide em várias filiais por aí com nomes diversos, né, onde ela não tem muita simpatia, então ela utiliza outros nomes, né? Indigenous people, the common people, the people of the grassroots. We have a right to know what we're eating because some of these foods are genetically modified organisms. Corporations have basically hijacked our food supply. Those who are most affected are those who are most marginalized. And so that usually um, translates to people of color, poor folks. Os seus campos serão tomados de oleaginosas e não de alimento para a humanidade. The idea behind the cellulosic fuels is that you're going to use a non-food source such as a tree to manufacture ethanol. These proposed new monocultures will still threaten small farmers, important natural ecosystems, the world food supply, and they have hugely detrimental effects on the climate. But countering it is possible. There's a lot to be done in the U.S. on educating the public. Let's look at the root cause of climate change. When you put all the impacts together, the direct impacts and the indirect impacts, what we find out is that agrofuels are bad for forests and biodiversity and wildlife, they're bad for indigenous communities, and they're bad for the climate. And there's really no excuse to keep moving forward with them, except that corporations are trying to maintain their status quo and their bottom line. We don't see biofuel, agrofuel as a solution, as a false solution. What our communities need to be doing and are increasingly doing is building our own um, locally based, community controlled um, food systems that are built on the knowledge that our people have. You know, we have to look at our whole energy needs, so we have to go local. 